We've almost completed our uh, controller actions here. We have uh, only the create to finish. Um, I'm going to work on the uh, first part of the create, the get from the user first, and um, then we will deal with the second part in the subsequent video because there's a lot going on. So um, let me start start with this uh, controller here. Now um, remember, we're going to be creating. Um, a new uh, a new product so um, I want to get some information about products and pass that to my view the first thing I want to do is I want to get um, a listing of all the categories I don't want the user to type in the category itself because that would be a an error prone process and I also don't want the user to uh, specify the suppliers manually I want both of them to be retrieved from the database and made available to the user in drop-down lists that is clearly a more uh, friendly way of doing this so I'm going to first of all dimension a variable here called all cats and this contains all the categories so I'm going to go to uh, my more Northwind context and I'm going to get uh, uh, categories and that will give me a list of categories notice that uh, the, the type inference takes uh, care of dimensioning this this is going to be a generic list of categories um, and then I'm going to dimension another variable and that's going to give me all the suppliers so dim all suppliers and I'll set that equal to uh, the Northwind context get suppliers so get suppliers so now I have a list of all the categories and all the suppliers and I want to put them into drop-down lists or what's referred to in the context of the MVC as a select list so I'm going to create a, a, a name value pair in my view data so I'm going to use the view data here and um, I'm going to put in as the uh, the name um, something called category ID. Remember, this is just a name that is used to identify it in this dictionary. And the value I'm going to put in there is going to be a new uh, select list, uh, select list item. No, just a select list. And um, I need to provide some information for that. Go ahead and uh, turn that off for a second. Um, the first thing I need to supply is uh, the actual items. And uh, these are going to be uh, all cats. So that's the collection of things that are going to be uh, stored inside uh, the list. Now remember, those are, that's a collection of objects that, that contain in those objects. It knows all about the properties of each of those objects. Um, the next thing I want to supply is um, a selected value. That is, I want to provide what is going to be returned uh, in the value uh, of this particular drop-down list. Um, and I want this to be the category ID. So that's basically the identifier, the category ID. And then the third thing that I want to specify is the data field that's actually going to show up uh, in the list. So the list is going to see category names and uh, what's going to be provided from this list is the category ID. This is classic uh, a drop down list situation where you want to display something useful to the user uh, but then get something that is computer friendly for uh, your code. So I want to have the category name supplied as what the user sees and then I want to do the same thing I want to create another view data uh, entry and uh, this is going to be called supplier ID and it is going to also be a new select list so let's just do this a little quicker this is going to be a new select list and uh, I want to send to that uh, all suppliers so that's a list of all suppliers I want uh, the supplier ID to be the value that's returned and I want the supplier uh, or the company name is what the user sees on the list so company name there now of course I, I really don't I wish I wasn't typing these things because you can make a typo here 
Um, and then um, finally, um, we want to go ahead and uh, call the view. Now, this view doesn't have a model. Um, we, we don't, you know, we're creating a new product, so we don't have anything to send it. We just have a couple of uh, user interface components to send it there. So let's go back and open up our Solution Explorer. Let's pin that thing down. And I want to go down to the views again, and I want to go to product, and I want to create or, or add a create uh, view. So add a new view. Um, this again deals with products. And I'm going to do a create. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add here. And here it is. Notice again we have our validation summary control. We have our form here defined. Um, so this form will in fact be submitted back uh, to our uh, other controller. It'll be submitted back uh, via a post to this create which we'll talk about in the next video. Oh gosh darn it, I did it again, didn't I? Um, I forgot to give it a name. This is so simple and he forgets to give it names. So excuse me while I uh, delete this stupid guy. I'm just doing this, of course, to prove that I'm human, uh, which probably doesn't need any proof. So uh, this is called Create, and uh, it has a Create uh, uh, content. There we go. Same thing you saw before, but named properly. Now again, um, I'm not going to create the product ID. The product ID in this database is an auto-generated value, so I'm going to go ahead and comment this particular thing out. Um, if we come down here and look at this, notice that the supplier ID and the category ID are in fact text boxes. In fact, just for the heck of it, let's run the application and see what we get right now. So here's my list of products, and um, I'm going to click on Create New. Notice down below, it's going to go to the Product Controller and the Create Action, and it's going to be submitted with a HTTP GET, so it's going to go to the code we looked at. Now we're going to find out if I made any spelling errors. Okay, I didn't. Um, it, it has, in fact, uh, inserted this information in here because of the naming conventions I used, but I have a chance to enter a product name and a quantity per unit and so on and so forth. Um, what I haven't done is I haven't uh, coded the um, the form submission, uh, which is behind this create button, which we'll, uh, we'll do in the next video. What I'd like to do, however, is create or change these from actual text boxes that show that we have a list item to actual uh, list items. So let's go ahead and finish that part off right there.